What it do? Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with NBA Legends, Legends, and players explain why Michael Jordan would destroy today's NBA. Now, before we jump into this, uh, I feel like MJ would would be great, would be dominant, would be MJ in any era that he played in. I do not believe that he would be 6-0 in the finals. I don't think he would go 6-0 in the finals. I think he would, he would lose a couple finals. I ain't going to lie to y'all. But that's not saying I don't think he would be dominant in the – Personally, MJ would probably still get those scoring titles. He would definitely still get those scoring titles. Definitely still get those defense, all defensive first teams. And he just he doesn't go six and zero. But hey, uh, before we jump into this, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media, Patreon, all up top. You can subscribe to any of it. Put all the links in the description. All you gotta do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me, I'm shooting that. I'll talk back. If you got a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon and drop or drop it in the comment section. What do we got? He will be great defensively, but not as great as they got rid of some of those hand checking rules and all of that. And players now got a lot more handles. Got a lot more. Mm -hmm. You feel all right? But that's that's neither here nor there. All right, let's go, Mike. Why would you dominate? So you probably heard the media or people that watch Michael Jordan play live say that he could average 45 to 50 points in today's NBA. And if I had to get my take on it, James Harden averaged 36 points per game on 44% field goal shooting in this Ew, era. The it was 44? Yeah, he gotta be better. He got a lot of that at the free throw line. That was because Harden knew how to how to play to the rules of the NBA. So that he got a lot of that from that little sw up swipe through move he does. 45 to 50 points in today's NBA. And if I had to give my take on it, James Harden averaged 36 points per game on 44% field goal shooting in this era. DeMar DeRozan had a scoring streak averaging at least 35 points per game this season. And I brought DeRozan up because offensively, he got the same mid-range game like Michael Jordan. And this was now the that, best season of his career. Range. Keep in mind, both of these players are not even the same stratosphere as Michael Jordan. Jordan right. averaged 37 points in a season with hand checking. Imagine no hand checking with the defensive three second rule that the NBA implemented in the 2001 02 season. Michael Jordan will be slashing every second. And I suggest you, after this video, watch Luka Doncic on JJ Reddick's podcast. He explained why that. it's easier to score in the NBA than in Europe. So, anyway, I know Jordan will be on. I, I, I did see that. Uh, yeah, Luka was talking about that defensive three second rule too. It makes it, makes it easier for him to score. Uh, 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 rather than in Euro League, where I don't think they have that. He explained why it's easier to score in the NBA than in Europe. So anyway, I know Jordan will be unstoppable with modern spacing and no hand checking. Also, I'm not fond of the myth that Jordan was a terrible three-point shooter in his early years. In his first four years in the league, he never shot over 73 pointers in a single season. That's less than one attempt per game. The three-point shot wasn't a focal point in Jordan's era. When he was 26 years old in the 89-90 season, he shot 245 three-pointers. He made over 37% of them. Ah, that is a good three point percentage. And in the 96 season, he shot 42% from the three point line. And even though the three point shot wasn't a renowned part of his game, he would have shot a few more three point. <laughs> I'm listening to what he's saying, but I'm just watching these highlights, bro. Oh my, <laughs> he's so disgusting with it, bro. Uh, but 37% from three, yeah, that's that's pretty decent. That's not bad at all. And even though the three-point shot wasn't a renowned uh. part of his game, he would have shot a few more three-pointers in today's NBA. If I had to give an estimate, he would have had a season where he averaged 40 to 43 points per game. So I want to show you NBA legends Agreed. and players who talked about how good Michael Jordan will be in today's My NBA. Lord. So enjoy the video, man. How would you envision, what would Michael Jordan be if he played in the game today the way the game is different from the way it was in his era? He'd average 45, and the league would be complaining about two players. I'd be like, Mike is too, is too yeah. good, and the kid named Shaq down in Orlando is too dominant. What are we going to do? <laughs> when you think back to what those defenses were allowed to do and how defense is played now in the NBA, what would Michael Jordan do in today's NBA? Uh, probably average 40, 
45, 50 a game. For as LeBron and, and, and Michael. I agree with that. If Michael played in this era, he will average 50. They average 50 points. How many points do you think Jordan could average in today's NBA? What's the most he ever averaged? 37? Uh, 37 one. All right, so 40 easy. 40 easy. 40, 40 easy. Yeah, 40 mm -hmm. easy. Like, like, 40 is easy. 40 would be easy for <laughs> Black Jesus. Because Harden, I think easy. Harden, Harden a couple of years mm -hmm. ago averaged 36. So you go, so you, right. so you figure Jordan could average 40 with no problem. I'm gonna ask both of you guys. And you add to that when he had when he averaged 37, he was doing it with twos. They weren't even no three. They weren't they weren't shooting three pointers like how they shoot now. You know what I'm saying? Because just just imagine if Michael like decided to shoot six, seven threes a game like they do now. Like 40 would have been easy. If Michael played today. Yeah. He probably averaged almost 50 a game. I mean, he really would because you wouldn't be able to touch him on the perimeter, so he'd be shooting a ton of free throws. Yeah. So when everybody does this, like Michael LeBron I comparison. Think I, but also, I think, like, I don't see a team start trapping people that have court. I, I didn't see players start getting trapped up way higher than they used to trap people. So, like, if you're averaging that much, and once you hit the playoff, people going to be like, all right, get the ball out of his hands. Get the ball out of his hands. Uh, but if he's got good teammates around him, then, yeah, he's, he's still going to get his – 40 to 50. I agree. I agree with that. Mike probably would average like 40 to 50 points a game. He could if he wanted to. I agree with that. I'm not, I, I won't argue so that. He's shooting a ton of free throws. Yeah, so when everybody does this like Michael LeBron comparison, it's like you, you almost can't. It's not the same game it's that they're the playing. Yeah, you're right. It's not, it's not the same game. I would have loved to see Agreed. LeBron Back play, play during in the 90s. You played on, in both now. eras. I'm, I'm just, I'm just telling you, LeBron is six, six eight, two sixty. Runs faster than guards, but is stronger than post. Like they didn't have a human like that back in the day. There, there was no human like that. And with, with his abilities, there was nobody like that. I, that's all I'm saying. You're, you're, no, he's the first player ever like that. You feel me? But, all right, keep it going. My bad. Play, he would have stuck his, that shoulder into in some people. You play, and if he got to put his hand on people, you can imagine that strength. He could guide people where he wants. Oh, that, that, you know that is strong. You know he's going to be strong with that jump. It's going to be hard. It's, with that kind of strength, it's going to be hard. But, uh, all right, keep going. Like, just keep going. I'm sorry. LeBron Back play, play during in the 90s. You played in both eras. How many points do you think Jordan would literally average per game? Today? Today. <laughs> More than James Harden. <laughs> <laughs> James Harden he 36. More than that. For sure. Really? Oh, oh my. I, I was oh at the Jordan Lord. era. Yeah. I was in the LeBron, Kobe, yeah. Duncan, and I was at the tail end. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, 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 sit, I, I played with these guys. Right. I've seen all the three-point balls. Right. Go up. They can't. Jordan would. Jordan, no way. Jordan, Jordan would average 50. You believe Jordan would average 50? If he wanted 50, to. Like right. James Harden wants to average 50. He just can't. You right. Know, he got 38. Right. Amazing. Right. If Jordan wants to average 50, if he was playing his era, I think he averages 50. And this is no disrespect to any of the guys. Current players. That's killing, like KD, right. you know. Yeah, KD, all those guys. Yeah, 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 guys, Steph and LeBron, LeBron and all those no guys. Yeah. Between 45 there are certain and players in the NBA that KD, KD is very efficient with this scoring. He's very efficient. There are certain players in the NBA that could average 40, 45. LeBron could have averaged 40 any, uh, most seasons that he's played. But that's just, that's just not who he is. KD, he could do it. He, but you probably won't win like that. He, you probably, you're just not going to win one player against a team. So you, if you're taking that many shots to average that many, you got to make sure your teammates are involved as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah not a lot. guys, that. Steph and LeBron, LeBron and all those no guys. Yeah. Fed between 45 and 50 because it reminded me so much of how Wilt Chamberlain seemed to be just dropped in a different era when he was averaging 50 and 25. That's what Michael mm, Jordan that. represented for the era he came in. Think oh about it. He was MVP Lord, that in the is league disgusting. while teams were still flying commercial. Okay, the rigor isn't the same. The 
physicality in today's game is it the Facts. same? And one of the things that you didn't acknowledge, all NBA defense, he will be getting steals. He will be getting out in transition, catching lobs, three on two, two on one, and also getting to the free throw line. In the NBA finals in the early 90s, he scored 63 in the 80s versus the great Boston Celtics. And yes, there are a handful of great defensive teams in today's game. The Bucks, both teams in oh, L.A., I forgot about the, the Toronto Bucks. Raptors. Yeah. But you know what else it is, Greeny? A lot of bottom feeders. So say against the good teams, <laughs> he would average 40, no doubt. Against the bad teams, the lottery teams, he would definitely average 50 against those squads. What about these other guys who are playing you know, in today's Jordan, Jordan would have averaged 45, 50. In today's the game. The point I was making is you allow great shooters freedom to roam, freedom with no hand check, you can't crowd me, and I got a clear sight at the rim, then it's going to be lights out, baby. But it's so hard to play defense in today's game because they allow the offense to go wherever they want. Okay, but if Jordan's That's... averaging, I mean, be honest here. If Jordan in his prime, Jordan in the early 90s, is in averaging. Today's rules. Yeah, today's rules is averaging 40. He would average 40. Okay. I think he would average 40. Okay, but he didn't he average 39 one year or 37.1. So Kobe's going to average 40. Kobe would be up there. Kobe would be up there as well. In today's game, Agreed. the rules as they are, how would Jordan do and how many points do you believe he would average? I don't think anybody's averaging 60 or 70. Okay. So that's, I mean, th those days are over with. Yeah, 60. Who was that? Was that Will averaging 60? <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's just unimaginable. That's unimaginable. I don't think anybody's averaging 60 or 70. Okay. So that's Yay. I mean, th those days are over with. Sheesh. Um, Nobody's going to get Will 50 a game, huh? That's not crazy. Not a game. No, that's, that's not going to happen. That's crazy. Um, but I will say this. Michael Jordan would average whatever he want to average. He you mean he can get 40 a night? Yeah, he can. I mean, yeah. If, 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 yeah, there's no question about it. 40 a night, yeah, Mark. 40. No, yeah. How are you going to get for it if you go to I, I don't, I, I'm not here to break it down and decipher it. I'm telling you as a witness, I'm testifying <laughs> on behalf of Michael Jeffrey Jordan that he would average 40 a night. If we, we see guys averaging 30. Right. Yeah. And 35. With all due respect, that don't have the arsenal that he has offensively. Well, you know you have to add that three ball. You got to add the three ball to get to 40. Because you look at the guys, Harden, was the last guy think Harden averaged, what, 36? And that step back three, he put that in. Obviously, the free throw. Jordan went to the free throw line a lot. I don't, he didn't go as much as a uh, Harden. But I don't know how you get to 40 without that three ball. Well, Jordan's going to go to the free throw line more than he did <laughs> back then because we were able to beat him up. Right. And, and it was ignored to right. a certain extent. Okay. So, and, I, and he, he added the three ball in his career. You watched him against the Blazers knock down three. That wasn't his specialty. Right. But it wasn't like he was a liability shooting the basketball. Michael Jordan would average whatever you wanted to average. But I his numbers that. would definitely be inflated. If, we, if you thought James Harden got to the line a lot, <laughs> Jordan would average 20 free throws probably oh, every night. Yeah, um, dang. You gotta understand, he would evolve into, uh, into this era. You know, the Jordan that we saw young, athletic, get to the basket, based on, you know, what we've seen in this era, he would, you would see a Jordan probably shooting more threes too. So he would definitely evolve. You know, he averaging 35 at one point. I could see him really pushing at the 40. I don't know about 50, 60, but like, you know, mid 40s, I could see that possibly happening. I don't know if he would shoot 75% from the field, but Paul, for his career, I think he averaged like eight and a half, 8.8 .8 free throw attempts per game. So, like, that's at least going to double. That's yeah. 20 per mm -hmm. game in today's age. And also, I mean, pace and space. Think about how physical the game was back then. You pretty much get put on your back every time you went to the bucket. Now all of a sudden oh somebody Lord. blows on your wrist or hits your hand, that's a fact. <laughs> like, so, yeah, even though he would have taken more threes if he lived in today's age, still his mid-range game was on point. His skill level, he still will be considered one of the most skilled, if not the most skilled in the league today. Um, I think, I don't know, 75%, but he would, he'd be averaging in the 40s for sure. Hey. I agree. I bro, Mike was that guy. I I do agree. Mike was his offensive arsenal was almost unlimited, and in the way he could, he was able to score the basketball. Absolutely phenom. Absolute phenom. Um, 
I think, I don't know, 75%, but he would, he'd be averaging in the 40s for sure. What both of you guys are saying is right. The pace has increased. My Three Lord. point shot has increased. Players up front have gotten smaller. So now driving to the basket, he going to be dunking on everybody. <laughs> yeah. Just think about that. Like KD is like a four in today's game. Mm -hmm. So now like he, and then here's the other thing. If Harden can average 36, 37 right now, James Harden is averaging that right now. He's getting none of those points off his defense. Jordan going to be getting steals. He going to be getting blocks. He going to be out on fast break. I, I say like about four, we will be having a conversation. Can somebody average 50 besides Will? He'll be like 47, 48. Oh my Lord. I, I really believe it. One is the best, five is subpar. All right, not so good. So you get a chance to rank one through five. Mm -hmm. Psychologically, how do you rank Michael Jordan? The scale of one to five? One to five, one being the best, five being the worst. <laughs> one. One. Back. Ball handling. One. Okay. Yeah. I give you a I give Mike a two. A two. One ball? Best? That's tough because you you have we seen incredible ball handlers that are are got the ball on a string. So I'll give him a two, which is still absolutely amazing. Ball handling. One. Okay. Yeah. Defender. One. One. Mid-range jumper. One. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> <One>. <laughs> oh. Like I said, he was a pure shooter. Like, I don't think anybody in the league at that point was shooting the ball better than him. He was shooting 50-plus percent from the field. That's crazy. At the guard position, shooting all Js. Like, you have to be a pure shooter. And everything was touching bottoms. Like, yeah. One. Zero. You go zero with that one. How do you, how do you, what do you think Jordan will average? Where do you think he would fit in? I mean, he can adapt his game to anything. He would fit in as the best player in the league. Like, <laughs> that's what he would be. And, you know, I feel like he'll have more possessions to do more things. But there's also more athleticism in his game. And there's more length in his game. But, you know, it's, it's also in it more space for MJ to go to work. So, I mean, we'll never know, but for sure, I mean, he's a master, you know, masterful basketball player. Like we've been saying, his skill level is unmatched. So, of course, he'll, he'll do numbers in this league today. My, and it's the hand checking. You can't put your hands on these guys now. And just imagine, Michael Jordan was averaging 29 to 30 plus points a game in regular season in the playoffs with hand checking. Now you can't touch him. Yeah. You couldn't touch MJ then without getting a foul. <laughs> Imagine what it looks like now. And you know Michael Gale will adapt, uh, uh, adapt to the game today. And the one thing oh that will get, will get guys is his ability to get in one or two dribbles to the pump fake. It's Michael Jordan. You're going to react to every move he does. And his, one, his pump fake alone will draw so, fouls. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And tell me, how many points do you think Michael Jordan will average in today's NBA? Would he average 40 to 45 points per game? Or possibly 50? 50 is crazy. Or would he drop the same numbers he did in his time? So make sure you like, share, subscribe, and show love to the YG gang. And I'm out. I got him averaging. I got him averaging 40 to 45. I won't argue with that. Mike would would be dominant in any area. Uh, yeah. Still don't think he would be 60 to the finals, but he, he could average. Whatever he wanted to average, I feel like Mike could average that. Uh, but that's all we got for this one. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Ring notification bell. Get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media and Patreon all up top. You don't subscribe to any of it. Put all the links in the description. All you gotta do is hit the link. Follow me. Talk to me. Love talking to you guys. You guys are the most incredible team on YouTube. It's your boy D Neil. Out.